Good afternoon, everyone. It is uh, Saturday afternoon, August 13th. Uh, me and my wife are pretty excited. We're heading to the West Virginia State Fair here in a couple hours. We're going to see Foreigner in concert. Saw a couple years ago. He's great. Pretty excited about that. Uh, getting toward the end of our concert summer tour for us. But uh, it's not what this video is about. This video today is about uh, the Seymour. And I have heard this camera pronounced a couple different ways. It is spelled C E Y O M U R. And most of the videos I've seen on it is pronounced Seymour. And to be a camera company, I think that's a pretty catchy name, even though it's spelled a little different. So that's why I'm going to go with it, because I'm just a little poor here, bully. Not very good in English anyway. So I will call it Seymour. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos on this particular camera and some of the other models that they uh, produce. I've got the website for up on my phone here. It looks like they've got five different cameras. This one is the CY50. They've got a CY55, CY65, CY70, and a CY95, which on here says new release. And I think I've seen on the hunting farmer, I'm almost positive I've seen a, uh, a review on this camera. Uh, I don't know if you can, I'm not going to pull my phone up, I will. You might be able to see it, but I can't see it very well. Uh, it has a built-in solar panel on top of it. I think that's pretty neat. Uh, with it. I did see a review on that camera and I'm almost positive it was on the Honey Farmer. But you know anything about his channels, he is the uh, Trail Camera King. He does one, seems like weekly. Uh, he does a lot of them. So if you're interested in different trail cameras, uh, I would definitely check his uh, channel out. Uh, like I said, a lot of the channels that I follow have done videos either on this camera or some of the other CY models. It's either the CY55 or 65, I'm not sure. I saw on another channel I follow. Uh, it has Bluetooth capabilities uh, where you don't have to actually go to the camera and check your chip. I think if you're within like 50 or 100 feet of it, I guess if you're hunting near your camera, uh, you can pull up the Bluetooth and download the uh, images off of it without checking the chip. Uh, I saw several videos on this, uh, decided to try one, and uh, I really, really like it. And, uh, just Make a quick video. I'm going to get a lot of the uh, reviews and details about it. You can look online. Uh, a lot of, like I said, there's been a lot of videos on it. Uh, it does have a place on the back for security cart, uh, security cable, Python cable, and it does come with a strap. And I haven't measured this thing, but it is a pretty long strap. It'll get around a pretty good sized tree. Uh, not crazy about the attachment point here. It is plastic, and it is pretty flimsy. It seems like it could come undone pretty easy. Uh, I've had this camera for about a month. I haven't had trouble with it yet. Uh, if it goes to public land, I have not had a box for it, but I will be putting a Python cable on it. And it does have a place for a padlock for the... Uh, uh, one thing I do like about it, it has one big attachment point. And it has a built-in viewfinder. That's what I really like about it. And uh, that was one selling point on me. Uh, right here, the button to pop down. Has the, it takes eight batteries. As the case pops down, all this is covered up. Has a three position switch, uh, off, test mode, and I think where it's where you set your settings up. Has a ton of settings on this thing, but I really like this view screen because it shows you exactly what you're pointing at when you set your camera up. Nowadays, most of my cameras, I hate to put my camera, my phone in front of it, take a picture and make sure I'm pretty much center and they still don't do exactly what I want sometimes. Uh, but I have got some, uh, a couple pictures, but mostly video on this thing. Uh, I did order this thing off Amazon. I think it was $42. I got free shipping because of Prime. Uh, I really like that point up. So for a $42 camera, I'm pretty impressed with it. I really like it. Um, the SD cord does go into the side here. It does go in backwards. The only downfall, I don't know if it's my fat fingers or what, but it is kind of hard to get that SD cord out of there. Sometimes i got to take another one and pop it in to get it out. And it doesn't come out very far, and I have a little bit of trouble getting it out with my hands anyway. Uh, that's Between that and this plastic little clip, that's basically my only downfalls I have to this camera. Uh, I have put it on the same tree as a couple other cameras I got, just to test it, see how it does. A couple more tree trail cams I've had for about two years now. One thing I did notice about this, it was on the exact same tree, you know, pointing toward uh, my mineral sites. I put it on both mineral sites for a little bit to see how it would do. Uh, it does have better video in my opinion, better video and pictures. Uh, but one thing I do like about this that I noticed, it does give you a wider view 
uh, especially on video mode. Uh, I have a wider view than what my other cameras do, so I really like that. Uh, so my other camera is on the same tree at the same time. Uh, I seen deer walking in or walking away. When I viewed the same video on this one, it, I seen them coming in a lot more and give me a lot more of the area than walking away, so I really like that. And like I said, it was on the same tree. Uh, one of them was stacked on top of the other or whatever. Uh, so there was only just a couple inches difference in height you know, on that situation there. So uh, if you're looking for a good trail camera or a budget friendly price, it's not the best video and pictures in the world, but for $42 is what I paid for. Uh, I haven't looked at them since then. I've had this thing about a month. Uh, definitely think it's a good budget friendly camera. And like I said, I love the, uh, love the fact that everything's here together. And it has a front viewfinder where you can actually look at what your camera's pointing out. Between that and the field view, I think it's very, very good. I mostly think about maybe selling my Moultrie cameras, my other truck cameras that I use on private land. And I'm actually thinking about going with uh, ordering a couple more of these. And even a couple of the cameras that I use on uh, public land. I'm, I'm really thinking about, except for my cell cameras, getting rid of all my other cameras and going with these. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. And uh, may even upgrade to maybe the uh, ones with the Bluetooth. Or uh, may even down the road, I'm not sure what the price is of, but uh, check them off the uh, built-in solar, solar panel. But check them out on their, uh, on their website. It is C-E-Y-O-M-U-R. I'm not sponsored by them in any ways. I just, uh, it's up to point of date, up to other than my cell cameras. This is definitely my favorite camera that I've had so far. I've seen several reviews on it, so uh, check out some other uh, videos. And by the way, while I'm at it, uh, another, I'm going to come across a couple small channels here lately. I, don't know, I can't remember if they found me first or I found them. But I'm going to start giving a few shout outs. This week's is uh, To The Max Outdoors. I'm going to put a link to his videos and his channel and my video here. So guys, go check him out. And before I leave, one last thing. Uh, got me another cell camera today. This is the Multi Edge. Uh, I just bought it. I haven't even turned it on and tried anything yet. It's pretty unique. Uh, did have some issues with my other cell camera that I got, my Moultrie cell camera I've had for about three months uh, after talking to them. It just got shipped up this morning. Uh, as soon as they uh, received notification that it was shipped, they're going to ship me another one because it was under warranty. So uh, I'm going to do a whole complete different uh, video on those, but I'll do a review on this. That'll give me about a week or two to try this one out. And uh, this is their newest model. It's, it's only been out like a month. It's called the Moultrie Edge, if you want to look that up. You're stuff. also not sponsored by Moultrie? Yeah, I'm not sponsored by anybody except for my job <laughs> and my wife lets me spend all this money. <laughs> but uh, but anyway. if, if Moultrie would like to sponsor you... Oh yeah, if anybody out there would like to sponsor me, I'd... Your I'd wife be, would appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, he was just a free product every once in a while. He's a free jean shirt like this. But this t-shirt is not sponsored by anybody. I saw it online. I heard this a lot as a kid and I told my kids this a lot growing up. So I seen this shirt and I thought I'd order it. Plus it got a pretty cool making flag on the side. So, anyway, guys, that's the video for this one. I'm trying to keep it short. I hadn't made anyone in a while. Uh, but check out To The Max Outdoors, his channel. He's trying to get it growing. He did say the other day that uh, his son's in baseball, so for the next month or so, he's probably not going to have a lot of video up. But uh, go ahead and give his channel a like. It's fairly new, and he's trying to get it built up. I'm going to help him best I can. And like I said, once I get my other camera back, and I get this about a week or two on uh, you saw this one, I'll do a... Uh, I'll tell you what the problems I have with the other one, and I'll tell you how the warranty went, and uh, let you know how this one's going. So anyway, guys, thanks for having uh, having me along. Uh, like, subscribe. Yeah, I'm trying to get my channel. My channel's been around for years, but it's grown as slow as the turtle, snow, uh, turtle crawls. But uh, anyway, I don't care anymore. I just I enjoy y'all watching. Uh, thumbs up. And uh, guys, we'll uh, see you here probably in about two weeks with some more reviews, hopefully, or something. Uh, season is coming, guys. Getting excited.